Hey guys, this is Megan from You Go To Be Kidding. This week we are in the garden. Uh, we are finally past our last frost and we've got lots of things to take care of. And so we've just been chipping away at small projects and getting stuff done. So come along and I'll show you what all we have going on in our garden this week. One of the projects this week was to get our barn cleaned out. We have chicks coming uh, tomorrow. And so you might actually get to see those in this video too, but our first round of meat birds are coming. And so I wanted to get our barn cleaned out. Uh, it had a bunch of hay in it. We took the hay out. I used that to fill a garden bed and I'll show you that new bed. Uh, but there was also just accumulation. It really was dirt, but it's, you know, goat poop dirt. So I was able to bring an entire load of that out here and Caleb helped me plant some potatoes. So we've got four rows of potatoes going. Uh, last year we didn't do a good job eating them and so they were growing sprouts and we had our own seed potatoes. So we just planted those. Ellie is helping uh, weed and so did Cole help weed the areas. We're going to try to get some tomatoes in today and I've got a couple of squash that I'm going to put in as well. So we've got lots of stuff going on. we used to have the chickens in. Uh, we still haven't moved the coop, but that's no big deal. And I planted some mangle wurzel beets. They're for animal feed and some dill. And they're kind of coming up, but I don't get a lot of germination or I get a million in the same spot, which is frustrating. Hopefully I'll be able to separate these out as they get a little bigger. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to be careful with them. But I do have a couple and I have some dill coming too. But these are my projects for the moment. These are tromboncino squash. I got the idea to plant them from Sean and Beth Doherty. Uh, they use them for their animals and for fresh eating. So I think I'm gonna plant these along this fence line and use the fence line to kind of help trellis them up. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Should be quick. I've just got four of them. Uh, they're supposed to get huge. And uh, we'll see, I have never successfully grown them. So. It's always worth trying and we learn each year as we do stuff. planting the squash, Caleb found uh, what we think are some volunteer cucumbers. So this one and this one, and it looks like another little one right here. We're thinking our cucumbers that came up, it, this is all the mulch and stuff just left over in our garden. We probably threw cucumber seeds to the chickens. We might be wrong, but it's always fun to watch um, do it. And then we've got the squash here and we've got things watered. So here's the main garden. We have our sugar snap peas, which are doing super well again. Uh, we haven't quite harvested our first ones yet. We've seen them. Have you checked today? Yeah, they're not. They're not quite ready to eat, but they are there. Um, and then these two rows are going to be my peppers, but we have been using some cold weather crops in here. I actually traditionally don't do cold weather crops because the spring bugs are so tough. Like, let me show you. This is a cabbage here and it's just been decimated by caterpillars. Um, and then this uh, tatsoi, which I have been harvesting. The tatsoi is pretty good, but it's also getting eaten a ton. But this one here looks good. So um, I've just been having fun doing this. The one tatsoi is already in seed or uh, in flower. I'll probably let it go and see if it seeds itself for fall. I've got some Swiss chard coming here, which um, I haven't grown before, but it's doing pretty well. Just a few. And then I have a couple of volunteer tomatoes around the garden that I will probably let 
grow and move over to where the tomatoes belong. And this whole row of cabbages, so they're here. I'll actually come in and stick the peppers right in the middle here. It will be a while before the peppers are big enough to shade them out and they'll, they should be okay. We'll see how that goes. And I did do some leeks down the center. I started these from seed. I am really excited to see if these end up doing well. So, and it can be tricky because this is grass. Those are leeks. <laughs> so I have to make sure I don't pull them up with the weeds. I'm seeing lots of tomato babies, so I'm definitely gonna have to pull some of those. My dahlia came back from the tubers. I buried the tuber under the mulch and it came back. I'm really excited about that. You can see from here the potato rows and then I have two tomato rows that are gonna be right here. I'm gonna to try to do a better job of spacing them out. I normally get them so close together and it gets uh, crazy to manage over the summer. So we'll try again this year, but you just never know. So this is my problem. I always plant way too many. I start way too many, which is a good thing because some of them don't germinate. Some of them don't do well. Like this one I noticed is cracked on the stem. Now I'll probably actually bury that. Tomatoes like to root from the stem. I don't know if that will work once it's planted in the ground. Probably not. I don't know, maybe I won't plant that one. But I have way too many. And then I like to plant them all, which is why I end up with way too many near each other. So I'm sitting here frozen with decision fatigue, not knowing how many I should plant in my space over here. So uh, we'll figure it out in just a second and we'll make our best guess, but uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, we're going for it. Caleb says just plant them and we'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure they are not supposed to only be 12 inches apart. Uh, normally in the past I have staggered them across my little row and done like one here and one there and then here and there um, and they've been too close together. This is definitely too close together, Caleb. Hold on. Oh, you've picked a new color. No, no, no. We're not going to do a third type. wind is terrible today. I hope this microphone is helping a little bit. I'm sure it is still bad. Okay, I'm making an executive decision. We're not putting them this close together. Alright, I decided to put the tomatillos uh, over here in this uh, kind of chicken area. There's three of them. Uh, we've grown tomatillos before and they were really fun. Uh, but I don't want them to take up space in the big garden. I've got to figure out my tomatoes. I need like a whole greenhouse of tomatoes. That's what I need. But we only have the space we have, so I've got to figure out how to use it well and get the tomatoes that I want. Um, so for the moment, toma tomatillos are going to go over here. They make the best green salsa. So, all right, let's get these in the ground. is the new bed that I mentioned. Uh, I built it a few months ago and I've been working to fill it up as we've cleaned out the barn slowly but surely. So this is it. Um, it is way bigger than I had imagined that it was going to be and I'm excited about that. Uh, I have put a few different herbs in it. I just planted some thyme and I have German chamomile and some St. John's wort. So I'm really excited to add those herbs to the homestead. And then I've actually also planted some green beans 
in here. I think striped beans are the variety I have. I've never tried them. I've never grown green beans at all. And so that's going to be something new for us this year. And I think I might actually stick some pepper plants in here as well, depending on how the big garden goes and how I get those spaced out. So we'll just see how that goes, but I'm so excited to have this space. And we do have a bunch more wood and then I can build another couple of these over time. I might get one thrown together this summer, but might not. With homestead projects, it's just kind of whichever one uh, makes the priority list is the one I get done. And uh, we've got a lot of other stuff going on. So we'll see if I get to another one, but I'm so excited to have this one. It's always great to add space to what we have. But uh, thanks for watching. It is so fun getting stuff back in the ground summer and the garden season is always so uh, just exciting and a good time to look forward to. I hope you've gotten to plant something and I'd encourage you even if you don't have a big garden space you can use what you have a five gallon bucket a sunny window any sort of porch or anything and uh, you might be surprised at what you can grow. So thanks for watching we will see you next week.